We're here today to uh, give you the results. Uh, this is the end of an investigation into an animal cruelty, animal neglect case that the Houston County Sheriff's Office, in cooperation with the Humane Society of the United States, has been working on for approximately the last four weeks. Uh, this investigation uh, was regarding a location in the extreme southeastern portion of Houston County on some property owned by Ms. Pamela Andrews in the Lucy community. And, uh, upon investigation, sheriff's investigators found uh, approximately 200 dogs that had been neglected or were being abused. Uh, we conducted our investigation and there's no way that we could have undertook an investigation of this magnitude without help from the Humane Society of the United States. We immediately contacted them after we found the condition of these animals approximately four weeks ago and uh, asked them for their assistance and their guidance in this case. We had to end up signing some, uh, some memorandums of understanding with the Humane Society, come to an agreement on how we were going to work on this case and, and begin investigating it. They came down, brought approximately 40 personnel with them from different areas of the United States, brought resources down that we did not have to be able to take these animals and get them out of the environment that they were in and uh, take these animals and provide them some safe shelter until they could be adopted uh, to families uh, you know, throughout the United States. But uh, this is a case that we did not take very lightly. Only misdemeanor charges are going to come out of this case, but uh, we didn't take the case lightly at all because these animals were being terribly neglected. We've provided each of you, members of the media, with a, with a disc with pictures that we took uh, several weeks ago that uh, we used in preparation for an affidavit for a search warrant for the property. Uh, we ended up going to the property yesterday morning at approximately 7.30. Consent was given to uh, search the property and uh, consent was given for the dogs to be seized, so we actually did not have to execute the search warrant itself. Uh, Ms. Andrews did. Uh, she did cooperate with us at the time, but I can't say enough. I want to introduce Mindy Gilbert. She is the Alabama State Director for the Humane Society of the United States, and uh, they've been a tremendous help to us at the Sheriff's Office, and we applaud them for their efforts and uh, all the hard work and the resources that they've dedicated to helping us solve this case. Thank you, Sheriff. Um, it's very much my pleasure to be able to represent an organization to bring resources in to assist law enforcement. Um, our motto is to celebrate animals and confront cruelty in any time that we can participate in something that, that achieves that. It's really an honor and a privilege. Um, we, knowing going in that this was going to be a case that was going to provide long-term care to a large number of animals, we of course reached out to our very good friends and partners, United Animal Nations, whose volunteers are here today and have been here from the beginning, assisting in setting up the shelter and providing daily care for the animals. Um, we are so pleased that the Sheriff's Department has taken this seriously. Sheriff Hughes is correct. This is a misdemeanor charge kind of case, but the, am the amount of impact that it has on large number of animals who may have suffered for a long time is not to be negated. Um, it's, it's extremely important. Additionally, we have received a grant from the Pepsi Challenge Refresh Fund. We'll back that up. We might call that the Pepsi Refresh Challenge Fund that will assist us in reaching out to our placement partners around the country to ensure that those animals who have special medical needs will be able to meet those needs. Um, we're very happy to be here and thank you so much, Sheriff. Uh, we, we want to thank them for their help again. In this case, we seized uh, 197 dogs and 31 cats, uh, over 200 animals that were seized and, and taken away from the owners in, the, in this case. And uh, we want to make sure these dogs have safe, play, safe placement uh, somewhere and that uh, they'll be loved and they'll be taken care of somewhere. Uh, we also want to thank uh, Dr. Jeff Strickland and Dr. Bruce Wozo, two local veterinarians who have uh, come and helped us out along with a staff veterinarian from from the Humane Society of the United States and uh, provided care for these dogs, evaluated these dogs and cats and see what type of medical attention that they might need and provided that medical attention.